Hi, Seta here. In this video I will show you how to set up the lightning during the day in Unity. In the previous tutorial we are set up lighting for the morning, so if you haven't seen it yet, you can find the link in the video description. Lightning during day is the maybe one of the simplest, but we need to pay attention to a few details if we want to recreate them in the game engine. During midday colors might appear brighter, due to the almost perpendicular angle of the sun rays on the surface. The sun appears smaller than in the morning, but its brightness is greater, so bright object will appear much brighter than usual. Shadow are very short, which can make the landscape appear flatter. However, the shadows are very sharp and they also appear darker and more contrasted. Short wavelength lights it scattered by the eye molecules and reach our eyes as a blue light, so object in the distance might take on blue shades. In forest, when the light passing through the leaves, it colors the surroundings to the light green. And now let's try to recreate this lighting in the Unity. We have our scene which I used before to make a tutorial about morning lighting, but this time I add some more tree. So let's get started to create a noon midday lightning. First, right click, volume, global volume, new, add override, visual environment, and I check all. Sky type will be physically based sky. So we need add override to physically based sky. Uh, I change ground tint to some dark gray and add cloud layer. So I must to select cloud layer in background clouds and then in the cloud layer we select all and we got something like this so now let's decrease opacity of these clouds and enable lightning okay now move to the directional light and we need to set the sun just above us. Okay, something like this. So now I decrease the flare size. Okay. And then in the shadows, I set resolution to ah, ultra. Okay, let's move back to the global volume. Add override. Fog. Let's enable all. Of course, volumetric fog. And now let's increase the max high, something like that, uh, and fog distance to 2000. Yep, 2000. Tint we set to some blue. Okay. And we decrease Base high like that. Now let add some another override. Lightning screen space global illumination. Enable all. Okay. And then uh, we add some reflection probe. 
because we want to have a correct reflection of light on objects. So right click lightning reflection probe. I move it here and then enable influence volume box size uh, will be 100 in all directions and then bake as you can see the color has changed but I need to increase multiplier to 2 all right Let's go back to global volume, add override, post-processing, shadow mid-tones highlights, and here I checked shadow and give a little, little blue. I can increase the shadows a little right and then add another override post processing color adjustments and I decrease contrast like this okay now let's add some local volumetric fog Right click rendering local volumetric fog. Uh, let's increase size to 100 in all direction. I no need to too much fog, so I increase the fog distance to something like this. And in the albedo, I want to add a green tint because we have the most green colors on this scene and we want to simulate the light reflected from this object that falls on fog or dust. Now let's go back to directional light and in the shadows we need to decrease dimmer because we want some details in the shadows. Uh, let's enable contact shadow and increase intensity multiplier. Okay, like that. And we need to decrease a little intensity. Okay, go back to the global volume and we add another override, post-processing, lit gamma gain and we increase some gain like this. And another override shadow contact shadow let's enable all and we need to set up this contact shadow to get rid of those not very attractive black shadows i decrease the opacity and in the sample account I increase this to the max. Last thing I want to add will be shadows and micro shadows. Enable all and let's decrease the opacity a little bit. Just like that. Now that we have the basic settings, 
it's up to you what final effect you want to get. Uh, if you want more deep shadows, just increase the dimmer. Or if you want more color, just adjust the contrast or desaturate image. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope that will be useful for you. If you have any questions, just comment me below. And till the next time, see ya!